Hello, everyone. Uh, it's Pastor James again with another uh, midweek uh, devotion. Um, each week, I've been just trying to spend a few moments uh, sharing uh, a YouTube devotion with you to give you something else uh, to think about uh, in the midst of uh, all the news surrounding uh, this pandemic and uh, and then all the political news and, and everything else in the world that's happening. Um, many of uh, these things of which are legitimate concerns and things that we should be paying attention to. Uh, but it's also good uh, to step aside uh, every once in a while and uh, set our minds on things that are above, as Paul uh, tells us in Colossians. And so that's been my goal uh, with these devotions uh, that I've been sharing every week um, since this pandemic began uh, back in March. Uh, and this week, uh, I want to share a couple of different verses from Scripture uh, that actually talk about what we're thinking about. You know, Scripture actually has some things to say about what we should be thinking about. Uh, Paul actually has a good bit of, uh, to say about that. And so I want to share just a few thoughts with you uh, this week about what we are thinking uh, about. You know, Paul writes in Philippians, uh, Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence, and if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Think about these things, Paul says. These things that are true and honorable and just and pure and pleasing uh, and commendable. You know, think about what you think about. You know, I don't know about you, but I'm always thinking about something, and it's not always uh, things that are honorable uh, and pure uh, and pleasing. You know, I get caught up in uh, in complaints uh, and just negativity sometimes. Um, and when I catch myself thinking about those uh, sorts of things, I remind myself of what Paul uh, has to tell us here, uh, that we should be thinking about these things that are worthy of praise. You know, I also like uh, how Paul puts this in uh, Romans. We heard this actually last Sunday uh, when he says, uh, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Part of what it means to be a Christian is to have our minds transformed, renewed, so that we are no longer thinking as the world thinks. We are now thinking differently. Our minds actually work differently. Paul actually goes on uh, to, you might say, up the ante on that when he says uh, that we should le let the same mind be in us that was in Christ Jesus. Imagine that. Let the same mind be us that was in Christ Jesus. Can we think like Jesus thinks? You know, not just do what Jesus does, but actually think like he thinks. That's the challenge uh, in the invitation uh, here. Paul also says that we should take every thought captive to obey Christ. You know, we shouldn't give our thoughts free reign. And they shouldn't be allowed to go wherever they want to go. Uh, we should take them captive, he says, so that uh, we can uh, obey Christ. And then finally, um, he tells us in Colossians and something that I've shared previously uh, that we should set our minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. Um, I shared uh, toward the beginning of this pandemic the uh, invitation to you to uh, take Colossians 3 verses 1 and 2 uh, when he reminds us and asks us to set our minds on things that are above and and if you put that 3, 1, and 2 together, you get 3, 12 uh, p.m. as a moment when you might just stop whatever you're doing uh, and think about those things that are, that are above. Set our minds on things that are above. So important uh, to watch what we are thinking. 
and to make sure that we are thinking about those things that are honorable and pleasing uh, and commendable. You know, Scripture tells us not only uh, to watch what we're thinking, but also to guard our hearts. Guard our hearts. In Proverbs 4.23, uh, we read, Guard your heart, heart with all vigilance, for from it are the sources of life. And then one of my uh, favorite uh, pre-sermon prayers from Psalm 19, uh, we pray that the meditation of our heart would be acceptable uh, to God, our rock, and our redeemer. It seems to me that when we are thinking about the right things, we are guarding our hearts. And when we are thinking about the right things and guarding our hearts, then the words of our mouth will also be acceptable and pleasing uh, in God's sight. You know, so it all starts with watching our thoughts, with thinking about the things that are commendable and worthy of praise, which can be challenging in our world today. I think that makes it all that much more important. Not to be conformed to this world, not to think as the world thinks, but to set our minds on things that are above and think about those things that are true and honorable and just and pleasing and commendable. When we do that, we will be watching our thoughts, we will be guarding our hearts, and our words inevitably will be pleasing uh, in God's sight. So, encourage uh, you and me uh, to do just that uh, this week. Let's close with a, with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this moment uh, when we can set our minds on you once again, when we can have our minds transformed and renewed and we can be reminded to think about those things that are pleasing in your sight. Lord, help us to be aware of our thinking, uh, to be mindful of it, to be transformed uh, when that is needed, to repent when that is needed. Lord, help us by watching what we are thinking to guard our hearts. Help us to take every thought captive that we might obey your Son. Help us to have the same mind in us that is in Christ Jesus, so that our lives, our words, all that we think, all that we say, all that we do is pleasing in your sight. We pray these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.